Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I really felt the need to make this video and I, I have a lot to get off my chest and this video is specifically for all the young people that are watching it. I don't know how long this video is going to be but please watch the whole video. I've been through what you're going through. I want you to really get the information, I want you to understand it and I want you to know come to the truth and what, what I really felt the need to make this video and what really breaks my heart is that I personally, personally like face to face. I don't know another person my age that is saved. That just blows my mind. I don't know another person my age that is saved. And there's a lot of reasons for that. There's reasons because there's we've been pounded with lies taught at school with distractions from social media and destructive friends. So there's a couple of things I'm going to be talking about in this video. So just bear with me on this. I want you to really understand the information. I want you to get it. And... Yeah, I want you to understand this information. I want you to get it. So first of all, I want to talk about destructive friends. There are so many friends or so-called friends that you may have that are going to lead you away from Christ. And trust me, it is better to enter the kingdom of heaven not having any friends and making friends there, obviously. Everyone in heaven is going to be your friend. Then having being the coolest kid at school but going to hell. What a shame that will be. What a shame that will be if you go to hell because of your friends and so just please if you have destructive friends if you have friends that are leading you away from Christ if you have friends that are pressuring you to smoke they're pressuring you to drink they're pressuring you to party please pray for those friends and lead them to Christ if if after all that they're they don't come to know the truth forget about it leave them it's better not to have any friends than have destructive friends that are gonna cause you to lose your soul what a shame it would be if you what a shame it would be if you, a Christian person born into a Christian home, depart from the faith because of some so-called friends. So get rid of all those destruct destructive friends. And once after you finish high school, once you're going to realize all the popularity nonsense and all the things you thought were, all the things you thought that really mattered, like being the coolest kid at school or having the hottest girlfriend, that's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. And please don't don't go into that destructive lifestyle if you're in christ stay true to christ if you're not in christ i pray that you'll come to know him you'll come to know the truth and yeah trust me you're not you, your friends are not going to make your life complete partying is not going to make your life complete fornication is not going to make your life complete having a ton of friends is not going to make your life complete once you realize that once you do have all those things and you realize that wait a minute there's something that's missing in my life and once you find Christ you you really feel like wow I feel my life is truly complete I found Christ I mean all the destructive things you were doing in the past that's they were pointless it's, they're not gonna matter so if you have any destructive friends guide them to Christ pray for them and if 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 it's not working if you're realizing that they're causing you to sin and if your friends are causing you to sin forget about it leave them why should you go to hell because of, of your friends? That's not fair to you. Forget about those destructive friends. Find, f find brothers and sisters in Christ. And if you feel like you're lonely, you have us. You have the End Times Church of YouTube. You have all the great brothers and sisters in Christ on YouTube. We are your friends. Jesus is your friend. That's what I want to talk about on that topic. For secondly, social media distractions. There are so many social media distractions. Like you go on, you go on Facebook, you scroll a couple of times, and there's there's dirty content. And trust me, if you're not using Facebook, if you're not using Instagram, if you're not using Twitter to preach the gospel, to get the word of Christ across, get rid of those things. Why should you fall into sin because you saw a dirty picture? It's not fair. Get rid of those things. Those things are just a distraction. What do you remember about the time you checked your friend's Twitter yesterday? You you check it, it's 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 stupid entertainment. You check it, it's gone. You forget about it. Just like watching TV. What do you remember about the things you watched yesterday? You watch TV next day. What do you remember about the things you watched? Nothing. Nothing. But you read a book, you read the Bible. What do you remember? What do you remember the next day you wake up? You remember what you read. You remember the word of God. So get rid of those distractions. There's there's a lot of adulterous and lustful content on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. So get rid of all that stuff, man. You shouldn't unless unless if you're really using that stuff to using those social networks to win souls, to win 
to bring people to Christ, to preach the gospel. If you're not using using that for preaching the gospel and bringing souls to Christ, trust me, those Facebook will cause you to fall. You might see some dirty pictures. It's going to cause you to fall. Twitter is going to cause you to fall. Instagram is going to cause you to fall. And what a shame it would be if you, you're a Christian, but you're still living in the flesh. Don't live in the flesh. Live in the spirit. Resist, resist the flesh. Things of the flesh are evil. Your flesh will cause you to fall. You need to live in the spirit. You need to repent every day. You need to, and trust me, if you're trying to get right with God, you're like, okay, I'm going to, uh, you're trying to like not commit adultery, but then you go on Facebook and you see some dirty picture and that dirty picture is all constantly, constantly in your mind and you got to do something about it or it's not going away. So it's better, it's, it's so much easier to overcome your flesh if you don't look at a dirty picture and going on social media, you're going to see tons of dirty pictures. So get rid of all those things. Trust me. I've been through it. You've been through it. And this is my solid advice I can give you to overcome it. So many times I have fell because of Facebook, because of Twitter, because of Instagram. So please get rid of those things. And the third thing I want to talk about is lies had a taught at school. So once you go into school, I mean, we are taught evolution from middle school to all the way to college, high school and afterwards. You know what I'm talking about. So trust me, I personally do not believe in evolution because it's the most ridiculous lie ever told. And remember, there there are a lot of Christians who believe in evolution. Just because you believe in evolution, just because you think it's real, please don't let that drive you away from the faith. Some people will say, oh, I don't believe in God because I believe in evolution. Trust me, evolution in no shape, way or form disproves God. Evolution in no way, shape or form disproves God. So if you feel like, oh evolution is true so I'm gonna stop believing God what a shame it would be if you go to hell because of some stupid lie you were taught at school even if you end up believing in evolution which I don't encourage you to because at the most basic level evolution teaches that humans evolved from a piece of rock through millions of billions of years don't believe that lie but even if you end up believing that nonsense don't let that drive you away from Christ don't let that drive you away from Christ. What a shame it would be if you if you not make it to heaven because of some ridiculous lie you were taught at school. And yeah, and also if you're a young person, man, there's so many distractions. Get rid of all those distractions. I don't want to see single soul perish because of destructive friends. I don't want to see you perish because of so distractions from social media and I don't want to see you perish because of lies taught at school. And remember, if you're a young person, man, I wish I I wish I started reading the Bible earlier so I could defend my faith and yeah just just learn to defend the faith study the Bible repent of all your sins stay repenting every day if there's a sin that you you're having a hard time with and you you can't overcome it man seek God he'll give you the power to overcome it he'll give you the power to overcome it don't just think you can come out of this thing all by yourself because sometimes you you can't without God's help there's so many things I could not have come out of and I truly need I even right now I need God's help to overcome certain things and we're not perfect and every day I'm seeking into Christ and every day I'm praying that God give me the strength to overcome my flesh and overcome the desires of the flesh and overcome sin and temptation I and mean, trust me it's so much easier to fall into sin if you're if you're on um, if you're on social media it's so much easier to fall into sin and I know YouTube is a social media also but I'm not using this social media to fall into sin I'm using this social media to get the word across so and also it's so much easier to fall into sin if your friends are leading you into sin so realize who your true friends are and most of those so-called friends they'll sell you out for money so they're not your real friends your brothers and sisters in Christ are your real friends. Jesus is your real friend. The angels are your real friends. God is your real friend. So yeah. And also re really, really study the Bible and repent of all your sins. Ask God to help you overcome your sins. I know these things are not easy. If you're, st if you're struggling with um, watching pornography, man, ask God to help you overcome it. If you're struggling watching pornography, break your computer, throw it away. Break your phone, throw it away. It'll be better. It'll be better for you to enter the kingdom of heaven, but live the life under a rock, than have all these distra distractions from technology and lead and thing. Uh, 
been on the path to hell because you cannot come overcome the sin of watching pornography. So man, ask God to help you overcome these things. He truly will. He'll hold up his end. As long as you hold up yours, God will hold up his end. And even if you can't hold up his end, God, God will help you hold up your end. He'll give you the strength to overcome these things. And also in the description box of this video, I have a message. Please spread that message across. about the. It's about the second coming. It's about the tribulation. It's about the rapture. Warn people who have not been warned yet. We need to warn the people. And also, thanks for listening. All glory to God. And yeah, seek God moment to moment. He'll help you overcome your flesh. flesh. And also, another advice to you is um, if... If, if you're having a hard time overcoming your flesh, um, even after prayer, even after um, getting rid of all those distractions, fast. Once you fast, once you're like, okay, I'm not going to eat meat. Or when I usually fast, um, I, I don't eat meat. So I just stick to um, like rice and, and fruits and vegetables and things like that. So once you deny the flesh... I mean, once the more you feed your flesh, the more your your flesh will want. So try to deny yourself. Deny yourself every day. And if you realize that you're struggling with temptation, fast for three days. See what happens. See how much easier it is to overcome sin. And thanks for listening. All glory to God.